today we are going to talk about condensate or drain uh, which uh, you know water gets generated in the air conditioning system so you know before we understand why uh, you know what happens what are the challenges related to condensate first of all we need to uh, understand what condensate is or why water is generated so uh, water vapor inside the air so you know our air always consists of some amount of water vapor and uh, always at any specific temperature there is a capacity of uh, air to hold water vapor as the temperature gets down its capacity to hold water vapor uh, gets reduced so uh, we have observed that if there is any cold surface if the air gets in contact with it there will be condensation as you see in this photograph there would be you know sweating on that surface so that happens because the surface air uh, releases from water vapor to water and that's where we find this water generation from air so there are a number of factors which impact this water generation uh, one is the outside air humidity so when the air is more humid uh, so humidity is measured in percentage terms so in monsoon it is close to 95 percent or 100 percent when it is raining outside because there is too much of water in air uh, as compared to dry condition when it can be as low as 10 20 percent uh, of humidity uh, so you know outside humidity level or the air humidity impacts what is the amount of uh, we are going to generate second thing which impacts is the temperature so if the inside set temperature in the air uh, in the air conditioning system uh, we set at lower temperature it will generate more water because now at that specific temperature the amount of water air can carry gets reduced so you know that's what manages how much quantity of water need to be or gets generated in the air conditioning system the third more important thing also is this condensate water which gets generated is actually one of the pure uh, water and since it is one of the pure water it is very corrosive because there are not much minerals uh, inside so it is more corrosive so you we may have seen marks of this uh, uh, water on floor and all so this is more corrosive for all metals now what are different challenges related to this condensate uh, the most important challenge is microbial growth because if there is a water darkness and everything then there is going to be mold algae etc gets generated into that water uh, once these uh, microbial growth happens then you start to get the bad order sometimes it is very uh, you know uh, strong bad order sometimes mild bad order but it will definitely generate some bad order uh, there can be also if this uh, microbial growth increases to a large extent it will also start to clog your drain line and you may also start to see water dripping now some of the uh, you know some of you might have observed that water dripping happens only during monsoon or only sometime when there is out rain outside so what happens is your uh, water generation increases uh, at this time and when your water generation increases your drain requires a full flow or a very high flow uh, whereas your clock line may not allow that much flow that's how uh, your uh, excess water start dripping and then also you know this can lead to corrosion if there is any metal or anything uh, uh, near uh, the drain or uh, in drain piping now uh, what is the solution if we have this the solution is the strain tap uh, which we have our uh, sanitization tablets uh, what they do is they uh, prevents and eliminates all type of this microbial growth these are designed specifically for air conditioning uh, uh, systems uh, refrigeration and air conditioning systems because these drains uh, drain pans will have something which is you know similar in most of these systems so once you remove these uh, molds and fungus and everything then uh, it actually starts to solve your drain problem uh, dripping bad order and all other re issues related to clogging uh, now this is in a tablet form so this tablet form helps it to have a slow dissolution uh, so that it remains there for a longer time and protects your drain for a very long time um, people ask that what is the uh, you know frequency at what frequency we should be using it it is very difficult to say because in some system you may have to 
use it every 15 days for sev for other systems you may have to you know you can use it for several months or so you need to based on your experience you need to judge uh, how bad order you are getting how much uh, is the water gets generated how much water gets accumulated on the drain pan and then you can decide how much quantity you want now how to use uh, we have a actually a video for it uh, which is there on our youtube channel you can watch that video uh, of how to install the drain tab in air conditioning system but it is very simple you need to get access to the drain pan so you need to open the indoor unit till you can see uh, or have access to drain pan you can safely place this drain tab uh, after opening the pouch you can just put it to the farthest connection from the drain why farthest connection so that it should cover the complete drain and if it is there in the farthest connection then it will take some time for it to reach uh, the drain close the unit allow it to work normally and then uh, the only thing is you know this uh, accessing the drain pan is not easy for any uh, person uh, uh, any consumer so that's why an experienced operator or technician is required to access the drain pan and install this so it is recommended that uh, along with this you should also clean your uh, drains uh, at least once in a year that will be helpful for a longer life and um, uh, build uh, better health uh, hygiene maintained in the air conditioning system uh, thank you very much for watching this small intro of the drain tab and the uh, condensate uh, tablets uh, you can reach us at our website bprefpool.com my email id is given copyright bprefpool.com thank you for watching this small video bye bye